Whoa! We just come out of the Imperial Museum here in Petropolis, which is the old capital of Rio, about an hour from Rio, and this is the old um, Dom Pedro I and all the other royal people from Portugal. This is their old residence here. And this is, you know, as we're approaching, who knows what the fuck we're approaching, it's a bit tur turning of the ages. <clears throat> The old guard is being um, taken over by the new guard, and I hope that we're the fucking new guard. And this is a perfect reminder of the absurdity, the pomp, the ceremony, the the grotesque richness. And like, there's a fucking gold crib in there, so you can have your baby. These little gargoyles made of gold, and a big gold clam is the best way to describe it to put your baby in. And these people believe that they're gods. And you know, here we are still, and there's people in slums dying in landslides, and no running water or sewage, and. People come here and they spend money. We didn't spend money because it's the anniversary today of the museum. Um, and people come here to spend money to look at gold and gold crucifixes. And I'm just happy to see that the church, you know, the Catholic church or whatever church, and this is the same problem in England as we saw at the royal wedding with Kate Middleton. The church has been sucking the cock of power for as long as we can remember. And this is a 200 year old paintings in there with a the church there crowning people, crucifixes and crowns. So. Jesus, if he was here, he would fucking go in there with his M4 carbine and do a church columbine on all these cunts. And uh, I wish I had more positive things to say, but sometimes the truth isn't positive. But let's, let's end on the positive. David and I walked around in there laughing our heads off. It is very funny. And um, if you perceive it as absurd, it is funny. And that's all it is.